What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. Now with this video, we are jumping back into Nightwing and this will be issue number 87. And this is kind of a, a fun issue. It's only 16 pages long, but if you were to take out every single page and put them side by side, you would have one continuous image going throughout the entire storyline. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with everything going on with Nightwing, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with this line. But now with Fear State being over, and Nightwing making his way back to Bloodhaven, he is now having to deal with the consequences and repercussions of his actions when it comes to giving all of his money away to help the less fortunate, to create programs that are going to be able to help them out. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into issue number 87, we are about to see Nightwing go full freaking John Wick. John Wick minus the murder. Now right now, he is making his way through Bloodhaven as Dick Grayson in his regular civilian clothes on the phone with Babs. Now he was about to head off and go to a meeting, that is until he is quickly interrupted. And that is because he is interrupted by individuals coming and trying to gun him down in broad daylight. Now the only good thing about this is that they are after Dick Grayson. They are not after Nightwing. Which means that he can go and change into his alter ego and be able to go essentially invisible. Now I'm not gonna lie, with this being one continuous image, they show him going up a fire escape changing clothes coming out the top as Nightwing. Meanwhile, he is being shot at and there are bystanders watching this entire thing. So we're gonna say that, you know, a good amount of people just saw that Dick Grayson running away from gunmen and then disappears into an alley Coming out the top is Nightwing, any logical person might piece that together that Dick Grayson is Nightwing. But for the sake of the story, we see Nightwing swinging his way through scaffolding, through all of this stuff, trying to get away from these guys, trying to break off from these gunmen. And switching their comms, he starts talking to Oracle, letting her know that he needs to get back home. His alarm is currently going off. Now Oracle lets him know that's probably a bad idea. You probably shouldn't go back home because that's exactly where they are going to look for Dick Grayson. You did your whole press conference directly outside of your place. And so that is going to be target number one for whoever is trying to take you down. But Nightwing knows that someone is at home, someone that is going to need his help. And so he makes his way back home, only to find that these gunmen have made their way inside of his house. With him making his way in here, he starts dispatching of them one by one. Obviously, close quarters, them having guns, they definitely have the advantage. But this is freaking Nightwing, and he makes this situation work for him. But while he was taking care of all of these guys, two of these thugs, they were able to make it into a van. They made it into a van with Bitewing, aka Haley, aka Nightwing's dog, the one he most recently adopted. And so with him just going full John Wick style, he makes his way through the city trying to keep up with this van trying to keep up with these dog kidnappers. With Nightwing coming down on top of this van, them swinging a corner and knocking him clean off of it. But lucky for Nightwing, he catches his footing and a bystander, they offer him his motorcycle. And that's because Nightwing had saved his parents before, so anything to help out the cause. And so Nightwing, hot on their trail, he is doing his best to keep his distance. The last thing he wants is to give them a reason to crash and hurt Haley or, or anything of that nature. He wants to do his best to get his dog back safely. And he knew at the end of the day that this was something that was possible. That people could get hurt, maybe they would even come after him. He never really thought about the consequences of those around him. And he is learning very quickly that when he paints himself on a target like he does as Dick Grayson, the people in his life are definitely going to be affected. Now we don't really know who was responsible for this, 
but we know that him getting that money from Alfred and then trying to distribute it to the poor is definitely going to upset some individuals. And so this is probably just one of many attempts that people are going to try to manipulate to change Dick Grayson's mind, to stop him from doing everything he is. But finding the location of the warehouse they stop at, directly on the river, this is where Oracle jumps into play, not wanting to mess around, ensuring the safety of this puppy dog getting back home. We see Babs and Dick Grayson, they go in, fully suited up, and ready to kick some butt. Crashing through the ceiling, we see them start whooping some gunmen butt. As they get to the guy that has the puppy in hand, he threatens to shoot the dog, with Nightwing throwing something at him and hitting him the puppy flies out the freaking window and we see Nightwing go diving after being able to grab the pup and bring it down to the ground Nightwing and Oracle were able to save Bitewing and that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. You know, like I said, it was 16 pages, one continuous image, which is something that's very cool. You don't get to see it too much in comic books, and it's really a unique aspect to take every once in a while. And it's definitely something you can do with the Circus Boy, because you can have him jumping from one page to the next, to the next, to the next, doing cartwheels, backflips, you name it, Dick Grayson can do it. This definitely being more of a filler issue. But the great thing is, Dick Grayson, Nightwing, is back. He is finally back in Bloodhaven. We have got him out of Gotham City, and he is back going to the city where he belongs. Doing his own thing, operating completely separate from Batman. Because this is where Nightwing shines. And now we are going to see all the ramifications, all the consequences, but we're also going to see all the good that Dick Grayson is going to do. The change that he is going to make to this city. And this really is a, a giant experiment. It's an experiment to see if this can work. Because if Dick Grayson can actually get this to work for them. If they can truly help people and have this as a continuous source of being able to help the poor. This could be replicated all across the country. And so right now... All eyes are on Bloodhaven, waiting to see what happens. With people plotting the downfall of Dick Grayson, he is going to have to fight every force that comes at him to be able to keep this afloat. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out, and until the next breakdown.